This is a place where I come to feel safe. You should I'm strict. Oh, I should be. Yeah, yes, yeah. I know. And right, you made me feel unsafe. I don't yeah. appreciate that. And for me to have to go, ha ha ha, no, it's okay. No, no it's no. not okay. Just... I'm autistic. This is my safe space. I come here to lift, and you're disgusting. As I'm moving out of the way, so you can see yourself in the mirror. You. Wow. Wow, what? I take. I rescind my apologies. You're not. Not this again. Oh yeah, Didi got a podcast. So one of the biggest videos on this channel that helped grow this channel exponentially uh, was a video that I did reacting to this young lady in the gym who was accusing these men of staring and quote unquote harassing her when they actually weren't doing that at all um, as she was taking off her shirt, literally taking off her shirt in the gym. Um, that video ended up doing like 750,000 views, something ridiculous. Um, and thank you all for that. I didn't have a gym membership. I had never really been to a gym like that. I didn't work out like that very often, but I can't say that now because what's different now is in the, over the last two months, I've since decided to get a gym membership. I work out on a regular basis. I work out like five or six times a week. As you can tell, maybe not, <laughs> whatever. But the most surprising thing that I've noticed since I've been in the gym is that it's actual people like this in real life. I didn't realize that. People say, what do you mean, Bo? What do you think the video was? People people have been exposing this. Yes, but it's different when you experience it in real life. Like when you go to a gym in real life and you walk in and you see that it's real women in the gym that dress half naked. It's women that literally go to the gym with 40, 50, 60% of their cleavage out. It's, it's women that literally go to the gym and set up, not try, I haven't seen a tripod, but record themselves in the gym. It's women that literally go to the gym and they literally have a room only for women. And then they got, in our in our particular gym, there's a back room where there's most of the weights and most of the equipment, right? If you want to do advanced workouts, women are allowed to go back there, but if they're uncomfortable, they have a room just for women. You have a select few of women that have come to this gym and will still go to that back room, which isn't a problem, but will still dress in a way that is very seducing and very questionable to be in the gym, right? Well, here we are once again with another video of a woman that not only decided to record it a man or record her going off on a man, he complimented her in the gym. She decided to record her going off on him after he complimented her. So before we react to this man, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for being here. Let's tap in. An Ottawa police officer just sexually harassed me at the gym. Dude. As one does, of course. He was doing chest flies. I was standing in front of him and I was respecting him in his space and wanted him to be able to see his form. So I kept moving out of the way so that he could see himself in the mirror. And after I did this twice, he stops me and he's like, yeah, it's okay. I may just be a dirty old man. Here it comes. But I almost don't mind if you're standing in front of me while I do this. And I did what we all do as women when we get comments like that. I just went, ha ha ha. <laughs> Turned around and I was like, I hate men. And then I was really pissed and went to turn around to tell him like, this is not okay. And here is why. And he was gone. I got a good life associate, told her, and she wanted to see where it happened so that she could find it on camera. Cause I was like, I don't want to come back here with this dude. Like I'm uncomfortable as shit right now. He was there. I was like, oh, this is him. Confronted him. And then when I told him, that was not okay. You made me feel uncomfortable. He was like, I'm sorry. And I was like, no, like you, this is not cool. It's not okay. Then he tells me, I actually rescind my apology. So, so wait, I just want to make sure I understand this. And, and just as an aside, at the beginning, I was talking about how once I got a gym membership and actually started to go to the gym myself, I was surprised to see that there are actual people, mostly women, really all women that dread, not all women that come to the gym, but all the people I've seen dressed this way are women. It's very interesting enough because she looks a lot like this girl in the sense of like neck, neck tattoos and chest tattoos and arm tattoos um, come to the gym with these super, it's not just tight legging shorts, but we've, we've all seen the type of, of spandex shorts that are specifically designed to enhance and tighten through the buttocks cracks. She's, she looks a, a lot like her. 
But but let's think about something. She said that the guy said that he didn't mind. He almost didn't even mind if she was in front of him. Now, I while I do agree with her, that's probably going a step too far, far. You probably shouldn't say that. But him calling himself a dirty old man, if he actually said that, I think it's him insulting himself, which she's not complaining about that. She's not complaining that he insulted himself. She's complaining about the fact that he complimented her, but also said, I almost don't even mind by, that you're in front of me. I don't know if that's sexual harassment. If, if at, like at worst, that's him saying, "Hey, you're 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 a pretty woman. You look a, a lot better than I do. In fact, you may even be motivation for me to get in, in better shape. Who knows, right?" And you also just said that he apologized to you, and you decided to keep going. Here's the video. And I kept moving out of the way. Oh, that's him. Ew. I'm so oh. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't give a shit. It's inappropriate. I don't appreciate it. And it made me feel uncomfortable. This is a place where I come to feel safe. I'm straight. Oh, I should be. Yes, I know. And you made me feel unsafe. I don't appreciate that. And for me to have to go, ha ha ha, no, it's okay. No, it's not okay. I'm autistic. This is my safe space. I come here to live. And you're disgusting as I'm moving out of the way so you can see yourself in the mirror. You. Wow. Why what? I, I rescind my apologies. You're nuts. Listen, I just want to interrupt for just a sec to say if you are enjoying this video, I ask that you please hit that like button. If you enjoy my content, if you want to help the channel, please hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It help pushes my video out there. I would really, really appreciate it. Also, subscribe to my second channel if you have not subscribed yet. Link is in the description. My man said I rescind my apology. As you should. As you should. I will rescind my apology as well. This is a person, listen, people, nothing new here to see. This is a person, first of all, look at her outfit. She's there half naked. Why are you dressed that way, right? Is that not public indecency? If a man dresses that way, we're, we're trying to put, hide our children. We, we, we're calling the folks on them because this is highly inappropriate. You're a danger and you're a threat to society. But if a woman dresses that way, especially in a public gym, that's going to literally involve bending over, leaning forward doing all the things it's not a problem at all it's not a problem at all here's another thing i'm trying to figure out why is it that you always see these complaints but it to me it, it may just be me but i never really hear these complaints when the guy is actually attractive right like if, if, if an attractive guy or a guy that you found attractive said these same things to you would you would you record it this is you trying to go viral this is you trying to go viral. When I went to the gym and I started to actually see these things, I literally went one day um, to the sign that talks about the community rules and the community guidelines. And one of the most shocking things that I saw was you have to dress appropriate in the gym, but that's all that it says, right? It doesn't really get into the granularity or the specificities of what dress appropriately actually means. Yet you come to the gym and you see these things, you come to the gym and you see people placing themselves in these women, placing themselves in compromising positions, and nobody questions them. Nobody revokes their membership. Nobody tells them that that's a, that that's a form of public indecency. You're, this woman is trying to go viral. And I hope that this, 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 this backfires on her, right? Because at this point, as many women that's been exposed with doing things like this, sometimes intentionally waiting for a moment like this, like her, like at this point, you're harassing him. Why would you go back to him? He apologizes to you and you decided to you, th think about what you got to go through. You got to literally get your phone, go through the whole process of, of, of I'm going to record this and then put on a show for the Internet. And then you decide to post it. Why? Why? Who does this benefit? I just don't understand. And the last one I want to make is this safe space thing. I'm autistic and this is my safe space, bro. You're in public with a bunch of strangers. Who convinced you and what made you believe that this was a safe space? Sure, you can come and have your headphones in your ears and work on your mental health and your physical health while you're in the gym, but by all, by all means, no matter where you are, there's always some level of threat or danger, right? Even in your own home, there's a level of danger in your own home, right? You think you're going to come to a public place where anybody with a gym membership or with a gym membership or, or a, a guest that's with a person with a gym membership can come. You think 
I, I, I'm, I'm trying to understand why you even thought this was a good idea to even try this in 2024. After the last two years, all these women have been exposed for playing victim when even women are calling out other women for doing this BS. Get over yourself. Man, y'all up in the comment section and give me your thoughts, man. I'd love to know what you think about this, man. Until next time, use a bitch. Oh, yeah, Diddy got a podcast.